dragon, 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 seven dragon, seven dragon, a dark dragon, a dragon girl looks up at the endless sky, a gate dragon, advanced dungeons and dragons, age of lore, dragon slayer, double dragon, dragon clan, bad dudes versus dragon ninja, battle boats, double dragon, beta block, let's see the next page, blue dragon, borderlands, dragon keep, blue sleet, dragon warrior, burning dragon, bubble bubble, burning dragon plus, castle of dragon, choice. Dragon, double dragon, a lot of double dragon, double dragon 3, double dragon 2, okay, more of the more of double dragon. Where's dragon quest? Dragon age, dragon age, a lot of dragon age, dragon attack, dragon ball. Okay, the list with dragon ball might be very, very long. Defender, Dragon Egg, Dragon Empire, where's Dragon Quest, Dragon Eternity, Dragon Evolution, Dragon Fantasy, Dragon Fighter, Dragon F Dragon Fin Soup, Dragon Fire, Dragon Fly, Dragon Fury, Dragon Front, Dragon Go Client, Dragon Guide, Dragon Gun, Dragon Hills, Dragon History, Dark Dragon Hunter, Dragon in a Wagon, Dragon Iris, Dragon Island, Dragon Jewels, Dragon Keeper, Dragon Keeper, Dragon Knight. Dragon Lords, where's Dragon Quest, Dragon Nests, Dragon Ninjas, Dragon Ninja Saga, Dragon Otiara, Dragon Oath, Dragon Palace, Dragon Panic, Dragon Paradise, Dragon Oak, oh, Dragon Quest, Dra Dragon Quest, here's, here's our franchise, right here. Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Dragon Quest games for the PlayStation 2. Dragon Quest V, Tenku no Hanayome. Bride of Heavens in translation, is a remake of the original Dragon Quest V game, and many fans consider this the best game out of the classic ones. The graphics have been so nicely improved, it's eye-watering. Now you get a 3D environment that feels like a classic RPG. The world is amazing to look at. Also there are new monsters in the game, new weapon types, boomerangs and whips, and the combat has more depth and new controls were added to make an amazing experience even more amazing. I recommend you this game. It's one of the best RPGs I've ever played. Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King is the first fully 3D game of the series, and it's a masterpiece like the other Dragon Quest games. The story is interesting again, and the presentation is very well made. The world is eye-catching, you get free roam, the combat is as deep as ever, and you can customize everything, from potions to armor, weapons and cheese, which you'll make lots. Oh, and the combat is turn-based, in case you're new to Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy in Yatadaki Street Special is similar to Monopoly but much, much tougher. Your goal is to improve the houses you buy and finish with the highest amount of money, and it's not as easy as it sounds. You can get bankrupt easily, and one dice roll can ruin your life. And don't think of the game as a simple arcade game. The game has multiple difficult stages and boards, so this game is a long one, but it's a fun one too. Dragon Quest Shonen Yangus to Fushigi no Dungeon, which can be translated to Dragon Quest Yang Yangus Mystery Dungeon, is a dungeon crawler. You go through randomly generated dungeons and explore a beautiful colored world similar to the other Dragon Quest titles. And the idea of the dungeons is that you beat small fry till you reach the boss of the dungeon, and you beat the boss of the dungeon. An aspect I found bothersome in the game was that this one is not a turn-based game, but it behaves like one, meaning that you don't get on-screen options and select the attack, but you attack immediately. But in between attacks there is a delay, where the enemy has the chance to strike, and since it's not a turn-based game, this delay makes you feel like you're in some sort of cartoon with stupid people. 
at least later on in the game, the player can capture monsters with a special jug and use them to attack opponents. And you can keep up to 3 monsters. And you get to upgrade the stats, more and more of, that, of those monsters, teach them new moves, let them use weapons, and later on you can even construct a farm to breed more powerful monsters. Oh, and the story in the game is fairly interesting too. Yangus is the main character of Dragon Quest VIII, so this game is a prequel to Dragon Quest VIII. And the story is interesting. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I left the links to those in the video description. Also, YouTube now has a hot new feature, the VIP memberships. So if you want to be a very special someone for me, check them out. And if you want to see more of my videos, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other playlists I've made. Thanks for watching.